Crystal's method. Um, I wanted to give a graph, an idea of what's going on with our coronavirus and our numbers. Um, it's going, it's trying to become mandatory that we wear a face mask when we leave the house or we're facing a $500 fine or 60 days in jail. Orange County, our sheriff pretty much had stated that he wasn't going to do that for us. But if you listen to the numbers, um, it's quite bizarre. Osceola County is the first one is trying to take it into effect. How far that goes, I don't know. Um, Lake County, there's 162 um, cases, four deaths. Florida, or um, yeah, F Florida, altogether 21,367, 524 deaths. And the U.S. confirmed 597,221 recovered 44,000, death 24,734, um, worldwide 1,949,000. Okay, so Brevard, cases 148, hospital 370, death 6, Flag Flagler 45 cases, 70 in the hospital, 2 deaths. Marion, 101 cases, 13 hospital, 3 deaths. Orange County, 1,024, hospital, 139, 13 deaths. Osceola, 333 cases, 95 in the hospital, 5 deaths. Seminole, 268 cases, 65 in the hospital, 2 deaths. Volusia, 261 cases, 45 in the hospital, 7 deaths. Um... The Orange County Convention Center is providing uh, 400 tests um, a day, and I think they have four new um, spots where they're doing testing. You can Google your you know, local um, nearest place. They're, they give the minor symptoms, cough, cold, you know, shortness of breath, but it seems to be avoiding given the details on the internal damage that it truly causes. Um, but again, these are the statistics. So Osceola County is the one that's wanting to do the mask mandatory. That's 333 cases. Now, if you are, listen to all the numbers, there's 1,024 in Orange County. That's... It's like the highest number of, uh, under that is that that uh, Osceola County. Other than if you combined it total, so there you have it. Um, update on the coronavirus as of yesterday. Thank you. God bless. Please be safe. Hope this finds you in good health and spirits. Crystal's method.